Hey. Hey. So, are we ready? Let's go. Uh, by the way, this is our new host on the channel, Sanji. And today, I'll be teaching you how to do the super zoom effect. Keep watching. Today, we'll be creating my favorite shot, the infinite zoom. This zoom just keeps going and going and going. Well, how can we do this? We can easily pull this off using some smart filming and editing techniques. Let's get started. First, let's take some video clips in different focal lengths. Not just one camera, but three at the same time. We have camera A with the 16 millimeter lens, camera B with the 50 millimeter lens, and camera C with the 200 millimeter lens. I'm going to put these three cameras side by side, as close as they can. Now, let's record all three cameras simultaneously. Press the buttons and let them do the job. Hey, Sanji. Yeah? Don't you need to be in the frame? Oh, oh yeah, of course. What am, I, what am I doing? Okay, I'm ready. Don't forget to ask your talent to clap as a slate so it's easier to sync all the footage in editing. Now that we have our footage, let's go back to the editing room and edit using Filmora. If you haven't already downloaded Filmora, get started by going to filmora.wondershare.com or you can find the link in the description. First, I'm going to place the three clips we filmed onto the timeline. Place the 16 millimeter video on the first video track, the 50 millimeter video on the second video track, and the 200 millimeter video on the third video track. Then, let's make sure we sync all the three clips perfectly. Let's hide the videos on the second and third video track. I'm going to find where the subject claps on the video track one. Add a position keyframe here as a marker. We'll also be using this keyframe in the latter steps. Then, unhide the video on the second video track and find where the subject claps. Add a position keyframe here. And of course, we can repeat the step and add a keyframe to the video on the third video track too. To sync all the clips, align all three keyframes like this. And our clips are all in sync. It's time to start creating the actual effect. I'll move the playhead to where I want to end the zoom out at. Add markers to the clip by pressing M on the keyboard. I'm going to move all the keyframes to here too. Then add a scale keyframe to every clip at the same spot. Hide the video on the third video track Next, highlight the video on the second video track. Go to the settings window, change the opacity to a lower number. This will allow us to see the bottom video through the second video track. As I can see through the video now, let's scale and reposition this video clip to match the video on the first video track. If you cannot see if it's matching perfectly, you can zoom in from the menu here. Sometimes you might have to rotate the clip to match. Once I think the clips are matched, I'm going to drag the opacity bar in the settings window to double check. If I'm good with it, then I'll leave the opacity at 100 and move on to match the video on the third video track. Unhide the video on the third video track and change the opacity to a lower number. Adjust the scale and position to match to the video on the second video track. Feel free to spend more time in this step for the best result. All right. Once all three clips are aligned perfectly, let's move the playhead back for one second and add markers to all the clips. Add keyframes to the scale and position for all the clips. In this frame, let's match from the third video track. Keep the opacity of the video on a low number. Adjust the scale and position of it so I have an ideal frame to start the effect from. Then select the video on the second video track and adjust the scale and position to match to it. After that, hide the video on the second video track and repeat the step to match the video on the first video track. When all the clips are matched, unhide the video on the second video track and play it back. I noticed that there's a color difference between the clips, so let's fix them. Select the video on the third video track, go to the settings window, video tab, and find the masking section. I'm going to select the freehand mask here. 
create a mask around the subject. Adjust the expand and blur strength accordingly. Next, select the video on the second video track and create a freehand mask again. Adjust the settings accordingly. Now, adjust the color settings of the videos to match each other. Play back the timeline and we just created a super zoom effect. And that's how you create the super zoom effect in Filmora. What do you think? Will you use this in your next video? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on our channel. Keep creating and I'll see you next time.